All right, so last month I did a video telling you guys the five things that realtors need to do to be successful, right? And I just keep couldn't keep my mouth closed. I wanted to tell y'all the lead gen things, the things that you could do to get clients. So that's why I'm here today to talk to you guys about that. So me personally, I just like, I like easy street. Like I like talking to people that want to talk to me, people that I can all, I already know needs my help. Like I'm a helper. Like my heart is always to help people. So I go after people that may, that I think may need my help. One of the people I go after for lead generation is probates because they they may need my help in some form or fashion. They may need a referral for a clean out. They may need to you know somehow get rid of the house or even figure out how to get the house in their name. They may not even know you know that they can get the house in their name and keep it. You know, so I'm always looking for people that I can help. Right, so they they need our help. So I go after probates and I find out different plans like whether it's a letter that I'm sending every now and then. Uh, well, every not every now and then, but on a schedule, a letter, a text message, a phone call, even door knocking. Door knocking is my absolute favorite thing to do for every lead generation tactic that I use. I just like to I like to door knock because I like to be face to face. I kind of feel like if I'm face to face with you, you can't tell me no. <laughs> I, I don't know why I feel like that, but I just I just do. So door knocking is one of my favorite things to do. So I've door knocked all different people and I've gotten a lot of, I've had a lot of success with that. Another one that I go after, I'm gonna give y'all three. Three of my top top ones that I use. Another class of people that I go after is foreclosures, right? Because they're gonna need my help some kind of way. A lot of people don't know that, you know, it's overages that the, the people bid and they can go back and get the money. They don't know that they have a six month redemption period and they can actually still sell the house after foreclosure. They think it's it and they just have to move out. And so my goal is always to go and inform them. And because I come from a place of contribution and everything I do is genuine and they want to work with me right they want me to help them however I can they're a really good group of people to go after because they need to do something they have six months to do it right so that's another thing and so for them I initially go out and door knock I go to the auction and I make sure that you know I get the information that they need so that I have it for them and then the first thing I do is go out and door knock um, and put a hang door hanger on their door and sometimes they invite me in, my, in their house that at that very moment I had some good stories where they invited me in their house and talked to me and and we had a whole like listening presentation right then and there but I also had somebody pull a gun on me <laughs> when I came and knock on their door so you know just be careful that's all I'm saying it was only one time and I've been doing it for a very long time but be careful you know and be discerning with what you do and how you do it this person I hadn't even gotten out of the car yet they walked up to my car like what you doing in my house you know but people are sensitive you know to things like that they're sensitive when someone passes so probates are sensitive so you have to be discerning on how to handle them and then foreclosures they're sensitive because they're losing their house House, you know they've worked so hard I've seen so many people that were like 20 years in been paying their mortgage for 20 years and then they lose their house imagine how that could feel you know so you have to put yourself in their position and don't just go salesy you have to come from a heart of contribution I want to help you how can I help you let me give you this information right so that's what I always do um, but I door knock I call I text I send letters I send postcards um, and you have six months to contact them but really I try to do it like three and a half months because if they call me on the fourth or fifth month like it's really not much I can do right unless I have a cash buyer and then the third one I really try to capitalize on the listings that I already have right the listings even the deals we get pending so I market those I, I, I market them on Facebook and Instagram put money behind them just so people know that we selling in the area and you can target it with you know people around that area you can target the Facebook post to people around the area and I also go and door knock <laughs> I go and door knock and tell them that tell the people in the area hey I just sold this house in this area hey this house just sold for this amount did you know you know so that's one thing that I do um, my team they like some people like to call 
you know, door knocking is just my thing. So that's one thing that I use. I use the business that I already have to get more business. So those are my top three lead gen things that you can do. And it's so easy, like, and it don't cost a lot of money. Even if you just start with door knocking and you don't do the postcards and the letters. I started, that's where I started. I started just door knocking and I got tons of business. But as, you know, as I grew and made money off of it, I was able to scale up and, you know, buy postcards and things of that sort. But a door knock and a call don't cost nothing, right? A little bit of gas you know you already pay your phone bill so you can start there with all of those plans and those are people that need you right and then of course the people in the neighborhood that you just sold in is they, they say that at least two to three people sell in that same block right so why not you get it right why not you get that one too so those are some easy lead gen tactics that i use some people i go after so i just wanted to share that with you and if you want to see more content like this make sure you like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time i drop new content